astronomers have conjectured about exoplanets for centuries. Since the Milky Way galaxy alone contains between 100 and 400 billion stars, it seemed unlikely that our solar system was the only one to contain a planetary system. However, the discovery of exoplanets has only been confirmed in recent years by astronomers. Exoplanets are verified by a variety of techniques. The majority of them are indirect in nature. This technique is a direct one. Direct Imaging Method Only a few exoplanets have ever been discovered by using direct imaging. Direct imaging of exoplanets is extremely difficult, if not impossible, in most cases. Planets are easily lost in the brilliant glare of the stars they orbit because they are small and dim. Nonetheless, even with current telescope technology, there are rare occasions when a planet can be directly observed. While more difficult than indirect methods, this method is the most promising for characterizing the atmospheres of exoplanets. So far, this method has confirmed only a few planets, and many more are expected to be discovered in the near future. Future missions and projects to facilitate direct imaging are being planned. Ground-based telescopes with adaptive optics systems produce sharper images, allowing astronomers to distinguish between planet and starlight. Ground-based or space-based telescopes equipped with coronagraphs can block the star's light in the same way that you might shade your eyes from direct sunlight, making it easier to spot planets. Missions to fly a star shade in formation with the telescope, blocking starlight before it reaches the imaging instrument, have also been proposed. One of the most obvious benefits of direct imaging is that it produces fewer false positives. Scientists can learn a lot about the planet by using direct imaging. For example, in the case of Fomalhaut b, the planet's interaction with the protoplanetary disk and the fact that it is invisible in the infrared provided strong limits to its mass and its exceptional brilliance led scientists to hypothesize that it is surrounded by a massive ring system. In the case of HR 8799, infrared radiation from the objects combined with planetary formation models yields a rough estimate of the planet's mass. Direct imaging works best for planets with large orbits and a high mass, such as gas giants. It is also very useful for detecting planets that do not transit in front of a star. Direct imaging is more difficult than other methods due to the obscuring effect light from a star has. In other words, detecting light reflected from a planet's atmosphere is extremely difficult when its parent star is so much brighter. As a result, direct imaging opportunities are extremely limited with current technology. Planets can generally only be detected using this method when they orbit at great distances from their stars or if they are extremely massive. As a result, this method isn't particularly useful for finding potentially habitable exoplanets like Earth. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.